uh, called The Real World. This is the true story of nine strangers picking place to live in a factory to manufacture together and have their lives taped. To find out what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. Adafruit, the real world. All right, we got something in stock, Lady Ada. What did we, we get? We got chips. <laughs> we got reels of chips. Okay, so we've got the MMA 8451. We ordered this from DigiKey two years ago, almost to the day. Um, and we've gotten some here and there. We were able to fill some backwards. We finally have enough to put in stock. So if you've been looking for the MMA 8451, it's, you know, an old, um, I think, NXP accelerometer. I know it's a 14 bit triple axis accelerometer. It was quite popular. Uh, we had thousands of people, um, you know, with back orders and signups, but uh, we've almost gotten through all of them, uh, thanks to a big delivery, uh, many reels. And so, um, check it out. Yeah. If you're looking for it, it's now available again. It's been and there's a lot of them. It's been two years for a lot of folks, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna. Maybe not two years. Sorry, it's one year, not two years, but it's still. But a one, lot of things we year. have are two years still. Yeah. And so for electronic. Oh, no, actually. No, it was because I think I think the uh, end of life was twenty was twenty twenty. Sorry, what year is it? Hi, yeah. how what's going on? It's <laughs> so um, you know one of the things I'm not I'm not in journalist mode, so I'm not really writing about this. It's hard to like run the business and also write about this industry. So one of the things I'm not doing is writing about some of the things that's coming up. Also, you know I feel like there's um, confidential information, even though it's not confidential that I'm I'm getting sent. It's like oh hey. Uh, I'm at XY company, XYZ company, we're going out of business, or we, we don't ha we have these parts, we're not gonna use them, or um, some pretty well-known uh, you know, electronic companies are just saying, hey, we're not, we don't wanna do this anymore, because it's been two years. Especially single serving companies that have like one particular. Oh, it's been um, two and a half years, and it's like, it's two, you eventually you're like, I can't do this anymore, I can't wait around. You can outrun the bear for a while, except for eventually you can't. Eventually you get tired, but the bear is not tired. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, for a lot of folks, it went from pandemic to inflation, to chip shortage, to uh, some workforce challenges, global issues from uh, climate change with disruption in locations where there used to be a way to get stuff and then there isn't, and then there's weather, and then there's, you name it, it's just been happening. And there's also some political issues around the world. So a lot of folks are like, you know what? We're outie. So uh, we're starting to get stuff, but there is gonna probably be some disruption. So we're still doing everything possible to work around that. You're probably noticing we have more and more stuff in stock on a more regular basis. Um, I think we have the BNL 055 still in stock right now, yeah. which is amazing. And, and one thing, you know, after, after probably beginning of next year, I'll probably do a little bit of a recap of the things that we did. Um, we're definitely trying to make it so it's not spiky anymore, that we have consistent um, awareness of what's happening with the chips we're going to get in, with the parts, our production ability, and just all the wacky things that happen. Um, I think it'll be helpful to some some businesses to see how we uh, learned a lot of lessons because we assume if this happened now, it's going to happen again. So we want to, you know, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you know. Uh, there's there's that old meme, but hopefully um, this will just make us smarter, stronger, better, faster and uh, have more diversity in our supply chain and also be able to switch different chips out. So we'll see how it goes. And that's this week's Real World.